morning students i hope you all are fine and safe at your home so today we are going to uh, do the recapitalization or maybe you can call it revision of lesson 1 again as i have explained you lesson 1 in my previous videos so today we are going to uh, recapitulate and do the revision of this lesson again in the form of exercise i'm going to ask you various types of the question and in the zoom meeting we are going to discuss the answers of that questions and i'm going to give you homework also you can do that homework in your previous session evs notebook or in any other rubrics kind of notebook rough notebook you can use any type of the notebook to do the homework okay so let's start with the revision part and recapitalization part you can call it recapitalization and revision also so ecosystem lesson 1 lesson 1 is ecosystem so what is the name of the lesson is so let's start with the recapitalization of lesson 1 that is ecosystem so i have told in my previous video also what is the meaning of ecosystem ecosystem is a group of living being non living beings where all the plants animals live feed reproduce together okay so this is ecosystem plants and animals are dependent on each other plants animals human beings are also interdependent on each other they depend on each other for their use to maintain the balance in the nature therefore they depend on each other every organism has its unique own ecosystem in which it lives for example like fishes fishes used to live in aquatic uh, ecosystem animals used to live in forest ecosystem okay here next topic we are going to discuss is the flow of energy as i have told earlier the uh, main source of the energy is sun from the sun we get the energy the sun is the source of all energy on the earth plants use this energy from the sunlight to make their food plants are eaten by animals and human beings thus the flow of energy is maintained by environment okay who main, maintain the flow of energy environment or it can be known as ecosystem also how plants make their own food plant kaise apna khana banate hain uh, as we know there are three four components which are very essential very important for the um, preparation of the food like sunlight air water hai na plants have a green leaves green leaves why they have green leaves they have a green leaf because of the chlorophyll pigment present in that which gives them green color okay the substance that make these leaf green is called chlorophyll as i have told you this helps the plant to prepare their food in the presence of sunlight a plant get water and mineral from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air we release carbon dioxide it goes into the air and from that plants re, uh, receive that carbon dioxide uh, and from the soil they get water and mineral and the chlorophyll present in the leaf traps traps means uske uh, sath trap usko jakad lena theek hai the chlorophyll present in the leaves the chlorophyll is a pigment present in the leaf which traps the energy from the sunlight and this energy is used by the plant to make the food what does it do it the chlorophyll traps the sunlight sunlight ko trap kar leta hai apne andar aur wahi sunlight us leaf mein reh jati hai to prepare the food okay using water mineral and carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight the plant prepare its food the food is a kind of glucose the name of the food prepared by the plant is in the form of glucose while making a food leaf gives out oxygen this process is called photosynthesis when the plants are making their food in the presence of the sunlight they release oxygen gas this process is called photosynthesis the, here the photo means light and synthesis means all putting together okay so the equation is carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight energies solar energy chlorophyll gives food food in the form of glucose and oxygen so this is the equation of the photosynthesis next is green leaves are called the food factories or kitchens of the plant what they are called 
फूड फैक्ट्रीज और द किचन ऑफ द प्लान इन द एग्जाम और आई कैन ऑल्सो आस्क लाइक दिस वॉट इज़ द अदर नेम ऑफ द ग्रीन लीव्स एज दे मेक द ओन फूड दैट्स वाई दे आर नोन एज अ ग्रीन प्लान्स आर नोन एज अ किचन ऑफ द प्लान्स और फैक्ट्री फूड फैक्ट्रीज नेक्स्ट इज फूड चेन इन फूड चेन वॉट कम्स फूड चेन ओके सो हेयर आर प्रोड्यूसर्स एंड कंज्यूमर्स प्रोड्यूसर्स आर द ग्रीन प्लान which make their food by the process of the photosynthesis and the food chain begins with them and what are consumers consumers are the living thing that directly or indirectly get their food from the green plants okay so these are the consumers there are the three main type of the uh, there are of three main type consumers basically okay producers are the green plant and consumers three types first one is herbivores carnivores omnivores Let's discuss about the herbivores. What are herbivores? The organism that eat green plants, only green plants, are known as herbivores. Okay. For example, cow, deer, goat, rabbit. They feed only green plants. Next is omnivores. Omnivores are the animals or organism that feed on both plants and animal that eat. both plant and animals plants and animal are known as omnivores for example crows bear next is carnivores carnivores are the organism or animal that feed on the other living organism or eat flesh meat are called carnivores for example bear lion tiger they all are carnivores so here we have studied about the producers consumers consumers are of three type herbivores consumers carnivores consumers and omnivores consumers decomposers and scavengers now we are going to talk about the decomposers and scavengers who are decomposers who are scavengers so let's let first talk about decomposers decomposers are responsible for breaking down the dead bodies of animals dead a- plants and animals and then further it is absorbed in the soil what does decomposers do decomposers do the breakdown of dead bodies of plants and animal and that uh, remaining part absorb in the soil okay what does decomposers do clear next is scavengers scavengers are the animals that feed on the dead bodies of plants and animal is known as scavengers for example vultures hyenas okay decomposers ke example hai bacteria and fungi the examples of decomposer are bacteria and fungi and scavengers vultures and hyenas so the basically difference between the decomposers and scavenger is that in decomposers what does it they do they just break down the dead body of plant and animal and what does scavengers do they feed they eat the dead body they feed on the dead body of plants and animal decomposers only break down sirf usko todte hain aur scavengers usko khate hain okay the example of decomposer is bacteria and fungi and the example of the scavenger is vulture and hyena going to talk about the different kinds of the food chain different kinds of the food chain include aquatic food chain and the forest food chain aquatic means water okay the food chain inside a water body follows the same process of the flow of energy from the produ- producers and consumers to the decomposers and the scavengers the small fish is eaten by the aquatic plants water plants they are known as phytoplanktons okay and insects the uh, insects present in the water the small fish feeds on the water plant aquatic plants and insects and then they become the food for the large fish small fish become the food for the large fish in this way the food chain rotates inside the water that's why it is known as aquatic food chains water plants are being eaten by the small fish small ish, uh, small fish is being eaten by the big fish next we are going to come on forest food chain forest food chain what happens in this in forest food chain grass is eaten by the who grass is eaten by the herbivores then they are all herbivores are eaten by the carnivores herbivores grass is eaten by the deer rabbit 
goat, anything. And further, they are eaten by the carnivores like lion, tiger. The grass, deer and tiger form a food chain in this way. In this food chain, energy flow from the grass that is producer, green plant, to the deer, primary consumer, to the higher uh, tiger, higher secondary consumer. Okay. In this way, the forest food chain. Next comes food web. Food web. Most living organism eat more than one type of the same food item. Okay. Most living organism eat more than one type of the food item. This means many food chains are usually interlinked. Interlinked means mixed, linked. As I, uh, that for example, uh, I am the person and my friend is also a person. We both like to eat green vegetables. So, we are interlinked. This is how food chain is also interlinked. There are some animals who eat same type of the food. Okay, this is what happens in the food web. For example, a rat may eat grain and even insects also. Okay, many interlinked food chain form a food web. Next topic is interdependence between the plants and human beings. How plants are useful to us and how human beings are useful to plant. Okay, we both are interdependent on each other. Plants and human beings are interdependent for this survival. Human being breathe out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. This is used by the plant to make their food by the process of photosynthesis. The oxygen produced by the plant during the photosynthesis are used by the human beings during the process of breathing. This is how human beings and plants are interdependent for each other. Next is how we can maintain the balance in the nature how we can maintain the balance in the nature. There should be a balance between the number of plants and the number of animals in the nature. Okay, we should always maintain the number of plants, uh, balance between the number of plants and number of animals in the nature. If there is an increase in the number of animals, the plant may not be able to supply sufficient amount of the food and oxygen to them. Okay. Similarly, if the number of plant increase, the animal will not be able to fulfill the demand of carbon dioxide. The survival of the entire ecosystem is based on the concept of balance. So, it is very important to maintain the balance in the nature. Next is how plants and animals fulfill the needs of human being. This you know I think. You can write yourself also maybe. But here I am giving you certain ideas okay, about this. Plants provide food and clothing to the human being. Medicines, rubber and other such items are also produced by the plants. Wood for fuel and furniture is provided by the plant. Animals also provide food items like milk, egg, cheese, uh, meat. Okay. Animals provide wool and leather. Domestic animals like dog, cow, buffalo help human being in their daily life. Uh, we are done with the revision uh, or maybe you can call it recapitalization of the lesson once again. So, I am going to give you certain exercises related to this lesson. This you have to do in the previous year, uh, previous session, any of the notebook, in any of the notebook. Okay. So, here we are going to discuss word meanings. Adhesive, substance used to stick together. Okay. Plants also provide uh, adhesive materials for making gum, glue sticks. Adhesive is related to that substance that sticks to things together. Glucose a type of sugar. Interdependence dependent on each other. Interlink connected with each other. Survival existent. Traps absorbs. Okay. So, in the form of the slides, I am going to give you homework. This you have to do and we are going to discuss in the Zoom app.